Hey guys, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and today I want to show you guys how to organize and categorize your plugins in Logic Pro 10. One of my favorite things about uh, the way Pro Tools actually organizes its plugins is there's an option in the preferences in Pro Tools to organize your plugins by manufacturer, and then uh, what it automatically does is it organizes them by type. Logic doesn't do that. Logic does not automatically organize your third-party plugins by category. It only um, organizes the Logic plugins by category automatically. Uh, you have to go down and choose the, the correct ma uh, manufacturer. So using the plugin manager window, we can actually categorize and create folders to organize all of our third-party plugins and mix them in with our non-third-party plugins, our stock Logic plugins. So as most of you guys know, uh, when you add an audio effect on an insert, you'll see all these different categories, and these are all just the stock, um, the stock Logic plugins. Uh, let's say I want to throw some of my other compressors under my Dynamics folder here. Um, well, in order to access my third-party plugins by default, you have to go to Audio Units, and then you choose what manufacturer you want, and then you choose the plugin. So, um, what I like to do is I like to organize um, all of my third-party plugins. Uh, in those uh, in those categories, uh, in those existing categories, so I can more easily access them. So the way you get to the plugin manager is you go to Logic Pro 10 Preferences Plugin Manager. Um, just a, a quick side note: another thing you can do with Plugin Manager that the the actually the main purpose of Plugin Manager is to make sure that all of your plugins have been successfully validated. If they have not been validated, you can actually rescan them. Um, and see if uh, it successfully uh, revalu uh, revalidates them. Um, also, uh, you can turn off plugins that you don't want to use. Like for instance, these four uh, Isotope plugins are actually demos and I'm never really going to use them again. So I'm just turning them off so they don't get scanned. All right, so let's start. Uh, I'm just going to go down the uh, my different third-party manufacturers here. Notice that Logic is in here. These are already uh, organized, so need, no need to reorganize those. But I'm going to start uh, with the Antares at the top, and I've got Auto-Tune. So Auto-Tune to me is like a pitch correction plugin, so I'll just drag it into the pitch folder. Now, if you want to take Auto-Tune out of that folder, all you have to do is click on it and delete it and hit delete on the keyboard. It doesn't delete the plugin, it just takes it out of that category. Um, Apple is some of our st more stock Apple plugins. Uh, these are all like the, the really, really basic, basic AU plugins. I'm not going to categorize any of those. Uh, Salamone Melodyne, we're going to put that in pitch as well. I've got the Sausage Fattener. Uh, don't laugh that I actually have the Sausage Fattener. Uh, let's see, Fab Filter Pro L is a limiter. We'll throw that under Dynamics. IK Media, Amplitude 4 is an amp designer. We'll throw that under Amps. I'm going to skip Isotope. Kush Clarifonic is an EQ. I'm going to throw that under EQ. Lexicon, uh, all of these are reverbs, so I'm going to throw all these under reverb. You can hold shift and select multiples. All the logic ones are already categorized. Native instruments, I'm going to skip the instruments for now and come back to those, but driver is like a distortion thing, so I'm going to stick it under modulation. Um, let's see, guitar rig, I'm going to stick all that under amps and pedals. Actually, you know what? Driver shouldn't go under modulation. Driver should go under distortion. I didn't see that there. So put driver under distortion. There we go. Uh, let's see. These are all instruments. These are both compressors. We'll stick that under dynamics. Solid EQ is an EQ. Supercharger sort of like a harmonic enhancer. So um, I'm going to stick that under maybe special light. You know, I'll put that under distortion too. And then Transient Master is a transient designer, so I'll stick that under Dynamics. And you can keep going down the list, and uh, obviously the biggest one for me is my Waves folder. I have a ton of Waves plugins, so uh, let's just click Done for now and see how this is coming along. And it will reload. And now that I, when I go choose my effects, if I go to, say, Dynamics, I'll see all my stock Logic plugins, but I'll also see my third-party plugins, like my, uh, my Pro-L there, um, my transient master, solid dynamic, solid bus comp. So they're all nice and neat and organized. Now you can do this with instrument plugins too. So when I click on an instrument track and go to the instrument tab, by default you just see all of the normal, um, 
all of the normal uh, 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 included logic instruments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new category, a new folder. So let's go under Logic Pro 10, Preferences, Plugin Manager again. This time I'm going to go down to Native Instruments because I got a bunch of third party instruments through Native Instruments. And I'm going to create a category and I'm just going to call this Native Instruments. There we go. And I'm only going to choose the instruments out of here. So I'm not going to choose any of the just the effects units. So that's, uh, let's see, complete control, contact, massive, reactor. Those are, uh, okay, so I've selected all of my instrument plugins. I'm going to drag those all under native instruments. Hit done. And then I'm going to go choose an instrument. And you'll see native instruments shows up as its own folder. So you can also categorize uh, all of your instrument plugins as well. All right, so off screen, what I did was I went through and I organized all of my plugins, including that big list of Waves plugins, into all the different categories. One thing I didn't mention earlier is that um, you can actually put a plugin in two different categories. What I did is with some of my channel strips, uh, channel strip plugins, that have both EQ and compression in them. I put them both under the EQ and also under the dynamics category. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel to see multiple new videos added every week. Also, you can check out carneymediagroup.com where you can view all of my video tutorials, search for specific topics, download the videos ad-free, and in some cases you can purchase session content so you can work along with me in the video. Also, please consider giving a monthly contribution at patreon.com forward slash music tech help guy. As always, thanks for your support and thanks for watching.